Oh my gosh, a milk snake. Catch this guy. Wow. A milk snake. Ah! Ah! Alright guys, first off I want to say, please do not go around and touching Texas coral snakes. They are not a snake to be messed with, nor a snake to joke around with. Getting bit by one is no joking matter. Hi, I'm Ori Martin, Texas Snake Hunter, and this has been a blessed morning. Not only did I catch the Texas coral snake, which is the most venomous snake in the state of Texas, but I also caught the Louisiana milk snake, his non-venomous mimic. Now there is a ton of similarities between these two snakes, but there's also a few differences as well. Knowing these can help save your life. So we're gonna go over those right now. I'm gonna put the milk snake away just because he's kind of flailing around. He doesn't really like the smell of the Texas coral snake. Now the Texas coral snake is, like I said, our most venomous snake here in the state of Texas. These guys are in the Lapidae family and they have a neurotoxic venom primarily. That means that it pretty much affects your nervous system, your respiratory system, and the cool thing about this snake though is there's been no recorded deaths in the state of Texas from a Texas coral snake. And why is that? It's because you can see they're actually pretty docile snakes. The thing is though is you can find some of them that do not want to be messed with. They'll bite you just for touching them, touching them anywhere. And it's not like they have to get in an S mode or anything like that like vipers have to do. But these guys will just snap sideways and get you before you even recognize it. So it's very important to be able to know the difference between these and the Louisiana milk snake, or any milk snake for that matter here in the United States. As you can see, the coral snake, he is red, black, and yellow banded just like our milk snakes, but the red and yellow bands are touching each other. On a milk snake, it's the red and black bands that touch each other. That brings up the child rhyme, red touch yellow, kill a fellow, red touch black, friend of Jack. Definitely the coral snake is the red touch yellow version, okay? See the red and yellow bands are touching each other. Also, you can notice if you look at his belly, his bands go all the way around. So his bands actually encompass the bo bottom part, his ventral scales, and that pattern will not be seen on a milk snake. A milk snake's pattern kind of stops. So the, where the red bands encompass on the bottom of them, you won't see those. It'll kind of turn to a white color. So beautiful snakes, so both of them are absolutely gorgeous. They have awesome banding on them. And another cool thing you'll notice is look at the nose, the snout tip. The Texas coral snake has a straight black nose with the yellow band going right on top of his head. A Louisiana milk snake, on the other hand, has white modeling on the tip of his nose, almost like he dipped his nose in flour. He also has a more triangular pointed snout, whereas this guy, like most typical crates, cobras, mambas, he has a rounded out snout. Similarities though is both of them feed on snakes. Both of them actually eat other snakes. This guy kills by envenomation though, and the Louisiana milk snake kills by constriction. So they're great snakes to have around your house if you want to just keep snakes away because snakes, as you see, even this milk snake who's a king snake, he can't stand the smell of this coral snake. If I get him anywhere near it, he'll bolt. He'll jump away from me. He has been freaking out just for having me around him. It's interesting to say because most king snakes kind of have a resistant to snake venom and it makes you wonder, can a king snake survive this guy's venom who is specially designed to kill other snakes? I personally don't know that because I've never seen one eat a king snake but it is an interesting thing to, uh, to test, but I would hate to ever do that. Man, I'd hate to put a milk snake in there with a Texas coral snake, because that's just such a, a waste of a beautiful snake. Milk snakes are such an awesome snake. But we're gonna put this Texas coral snake down and uh, show you the milk snake here for a little bit, so that way you can get a good idea of what he looks like. So let me put him up. This Louisiana milk snake, as I told you, does not like the smell of a Texas coral snake. Normally they'll sit and chill out in your hand, which he's starting to do right now. He's simmering down now that he realizes he's not in any danger, but he's actually flailing a lot more than they normally do, and that's due to the smell of that coral snake. He doesn't want to be around them. But good thing about a milk snake, very easy to distinguish. Once again, red touch black, friend of Jack, or red touch black, venom black. Also note, look at the bottom of his belly scales. The red bands do not all the way encompass the bottom of his belly. You can still see the black and the yellow bands, but it kind of turns white right there on his belly. And then of course, if you look at that snout, that nose tip, it's got white modeling right there at the end. It's also very, very pointed. Milk snakes and coral snakes though, as you can see, are very curious snakes. That coral snake, he'll look right directly in your eyes. They all want to see my hat for some reason. They love my hat, just like the milk snake. You can see him, he's just checking me out. He's, what is this guy? Where can I hide on him? He, he's not wanting to hurt me. 
But um, another good way to tell them apart is most milk snakes, they don't grow as long as coral snakes. Coral snakes can get over three feet in length. I more commonly find them about this guy's length, but coral snakes can get actually close to four feet. These fellas right here max out somewhere around two. Some of the milk snake species we have can get three but or bigger, but most of the time you'll find small little tiny milk snakes, but gotta love them. God bless these snakes, and we gotta praise God for catching these guys, because man, I'm in love with tricolor snakes. They are absolutely gorgeous snakes, beautiful snakes. And uh, happy Easter, guys. Thanks for watching, okay? State of Texas, which is right here, known as the Texas coral snake. All right, Flaley McFlailster. Don't drop off. Don't drop off. Roll him. Roll the stick. Roll it faster. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ori Martin, the Texas Snake Hunter. And right now it is springtime, and we have a snake that is freaking out. Just hold on. Come here, Milk. We are very blessed with finding not only just and one of the tricolor species. Another of difference between them two is their banding goes all the way around on a coral snake and does not go all the way around on a milk snake. If you look at them, this is not working out at all, dude. This is not. As long as it'll stay right there. I don't think he's going to, dude. He's about to drop. I don't think he can make it back up. Yeah, he's going to drop. Oh, man, he's got a prehensile tail, dude. As teaching you the difference, how to distinguish between the two. Right now, I got to put the milk snake up, though, because the coral snake's going to be gone. So. Well, they have a neurotoxic venom, which affects the respiratory system. Whereas milk snakes, they don't not venomous at all. Ah. Ah. Come on, stars. Watch that coral snake. So apparently he's too smart for that. <laughs>